this is part four of our denim journal. So the next part we want to get started on is doing something to the inside of the front and the back cover. And as you can see, I've already kind of planned ahead because otherwise it just would take me so long. And this is a paper pad that I've had for some time and I just thought I would make use of it here on these covers. Um, so what I've done is I've, I've got this is going to be the back so that we can have a couple of pockets on here but what I'm going to do is run this to the machine and stitch it but I wanted to show you guys ahead of time so that if you're wanting to follow me exactly um, I've got <clears throat> a four inch by five inch on that piece which is the back piece and then this is eight by five and then all I did here was just fold it in half and then I've pulled this corner down because what I want to do is stitch that back piece together so that this is going to flip up for private writing. This will flip open and then here I'm going to just stitch from the very bottom around so that this is going to be kind of a, like a little tuck spot in the back. So let me do that and then I will we'll carry on decorating it. Okay, you can see what that looks like now that that's stitched so that it's created just a bit of a tuck spot there and then this. So I'm going to go ahead and get this glued down. So you're going to need some fabric glue if you're gluing paper to fabric. Looks like that's been a while since I used it. <laughs> and bearing in mind that I also, well, no, actually I'm not going to, I'm going to have a pocket there, but yeah, this whole back side here can just get glued down. I don't know how long it's been since I've used this. I need to clean this up. for a minute and then I'll go ahead and uh, get the back. I'll show you what we're going to do on the back as well and then the, those can be drying a bit. So on the back I took, this was a 12 by 12 uh, sheet of paper. So I had this bit left over which measures four and a half and then, of course, this was the 12 inch <coughs> piece of paper. So, all I've done is just folded that up. I did some decorative punching there and then folded that down and rounded it. And I love the way that looks. So, that's going to make a nice back pocket. And that will flip open. This, I'm going to get glued down quickly. Uh, as soon as I find my glue, oh boy, I got a mess here, guys. I'm trying to keep up with uh, videos for all of my levels and YouTube, and it's really getting very confusing for me now. So I've got that glued down, and then this, let me just grab it. And this one could actually open up. I think I will. And I think I'm going to also leave a, a pocket here. I like the idea of that, actually. Let me see. The other thing is I've got this extra. This is a uh, Chapter 1 tag. And I thought it would be cute to also have that as another flip up as well. So I'm kind of thinking like that. That would flip open, this would flip down, and you'd also have a place there. So I'm going to do that. Let me just go and get this glued to the back. So 
So I'm just going to glue that to the back of that there. And then I'm going to just glue down three sides. And I probably won't completely finish off the embellishing on this because I tend to just go through and then come back towards the end and add finishing touches. I just kind of want to get these started. And then I've got something to work with, you see, because make sure I got that straight. Oh, and then I also want a little pocket right there. So I'm just going to go, actually I don't need that glue. Try not to use the Fabri-Tac unless I have to. So let me just get a little bit of that. I like the numbers on this paper. So that's nice. Now we got a pocket here in the back. We've got that pocket there. This will open up and then I can decide later if I want to add another. Plus you've got writing space here and possibly there depending on what I do with that. So I'm actually happy with that. Except, you know, like I said, at the end I'll probably add some, probably punch this out and add some lace or something. But let's go back to the front here and carry on embellishing this. So again, I'm trying to use up what I've got. <clears throat> and these were my porch prints. But what's nice is all of these really do work well together. So I'm just going to... Uh, glue that there. So I want a little bit of it to hang over. And I want to be able to see those numbers because I really do like those. So I'm actually happy with that there. So we'll have nice big space back here and then that can be flipped over to do some writing and then that will flip open. I've got this tiny pocket. This is again a my porch print. I'm going to add that there and then we can fill these in later. It's a start. Okay, so now we're going to start working in here and figure out. I know I want to get a belly band. I think I'll put a belly band on this page. So let me show you what I'm going to do for that. These were some of the offcuts from the pages, so I just I always try to hang on to, to those while I'm working in the journal because you can always make use of these to make some more embellishment. 
but I like the idea of a belly band down there. I'll save that because I want to use that for something else. So all I'm going to do is just layer these up. I've shown this the way I like to do these before on YouTube, but in case you haven't seen it, I'll do it again here. Let me just get a little bit of rough edge on that. This is avocado dyed paper. And so now I'm just going to run that over to the machine, and that's got three nice layers now and then I'll come back and we'll finish it off okay guys that's what it looks like and I'm just going to add that to it but I've just picked up some little scraps of lace and trims that I've got left over and I'm just going to stitch this old button there and I'm just going to put that, I'm not going to put it center because I want to see some of the zigzag stitch. Gosh, I seem to be struggling today. I don't know what's going on with me. You know how some days it just, nothing seems to come together. I'm, it's one of them days for me. I don't know. And I was so psyched about getting back in here and working on it, but I, I think I'm going to finish this off and, and call it a day because I can tell it's just, whew, everything's just taking twice as long. But yeah, we're just going to go through this little by little, add some stuff. I'll, um, I'll not decorate every page, but I'll, I'll try to hopefully give you some different ideas. I don't know. It's all been done so many times now, hasn't it? It's very hard to find anything, to come up with anything new, because there's so many people doing this now. But uh, I will try my best, guys, to, to keep it interesting. It's quite a lot of pressure when you're doing videos because you do feel as though you've got to come up with something new. But as I said, I think that's almost impossible, for, you know, as long as this has been going on to actually come up with something that's unique. But... I know a lot of ladies have said they're happy for me just to be creating on screen, but you do. I do put a lot of pressure on myself to try to make it interesting. So I'm going to get this belly band down. I love how that's come out. I think that's really pretty. Let that dry good and then I'll get Probably what I think I'll do is, well, I'll tell you what, I'll make it now, and then I'm going to call it a day, guys. Um, 
<coughs> I'm going to make a belly, uh, belly pain this time. I already did that. I'm going to make a journal card. And I want to make sure I don't make it too big. So I could probably go four and a quarter by three and a half. Four. Sorry for the noise, guys. little cushiony bit has come off that and oh gosh it does hurt now to do these. <laughs> um, let me put a little bit of stamping on there. This is just some crumb cake ink. Crumb cake ink. Okie dokie. I get that out of the way now. And let me see what I've got here. I'm going to add to this because, like I said, I want to make use of these scraps because that's just such pretty paper. So let me see if we can do something with this. So I made some um, keto brownies last night, and oh my gosh, they came out so good. I made them while I was up at my um, son's in D.C., and I'd made them before, but, oh, you know what, let me just hang on to that quickly. Um, but it's been a while since I made them, and I made them last night. Oh my gosh, they turned out so good because I put some walnuts in them. Uh, where's my papers? Sorry, guys, I've got a mess in here. Oh, gosh, where's that binder? <laughs> Honestly, guys, I don't know where it's gone. I need my scrap papers here. Oh, this is ridiculous. Hmm. There we go. This is what I was looking for. Um, so yeah, we um, I made those last night. Those came out really good. So I'll probably later in the week I'll probably make some uh, keto peanut butter cookies. Oh, I bought those too. Uh, like I said, my son's, he's on it now, and uh, he's single and lives on his own in D.C., so while I was there, I was trying to find, because he doesn't cook, so I was trying to find some recipes that would be easy for him to start to learn to cook a bit. And I have to say, he really did enjoy those, so I was pleased about that. And he's made them since I got back, he told me, so. So that's good. So 
to, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to give some thought to what dinner is going to be today because I have. Oh. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So, yes, I'm going to have to start thinking about what's for dinner tonight. I get done with this, I think I'll go down and see what I can make. That's going to be quick and easy. I've just started my rebounding again, which is the little trampoline. So I'm hoping that that's going to uh, make me feel better about things. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to run a mach the machine around that. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll run that through the machine and then that's going to be a little journal card for this. That's a little label from um, chapter one. I'll go ahead and put that on there. Okay, so that's what that's going to look like. So we've got this. That flips up, flips over. We got a pocket here, and I'll add some things to that. Then we've got this tuck spot here, and then on the back, this is going to flip up for writing. That will flip up down. A pocket here, and then we've got the side pocket there. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that, guys. So I'm going to stop here, guys, um, and try to get. A few things planned for the next portion of this, and uh, little by little, we'll get through it. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.